Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well today we're taking a look at some photo editing software. It's actually photo editing and organising software uh, called Luminar 3. Now I've been using this for quite a long time. Uh, actually, some of you will uh, will know, if you've watched this channel for quite a long time, you'll know I actually slated this software saying, well, I won't be using it because it isn't very good. And that was quite a few months ago. Um, well, I revisited it and they've updated it and it's much, much better now. In fact, it's, it's absolutely superb, loving it a lot. And uh, here we are, Luminar 3. Now, great bit of software. Um, I've actually got this in grid view at the moment, so you can easily hit the escape key and we can come out of grid view, we can go into edit view, um, you can go into library view. Basically, the library works kind of similar to Lightroom and that's why I wanted to use it. I needed a piece of software that was kind of similar to Lightroom, but a lot more cost effective. This software in the UK is about 65 quid but I'm offering a discount code of $10 on this software. So uh, if you apply the discount code AVP when you buy it, you'll get another $10 off it. Can't beat that, can you? So you're looking at around about 50, 55 quid, something like that. For a bit of software that is, well, I think in my books, equally as good and in some respects better than Lightroom. Um, and now that they've updated it, if you've had previous experience with Luminar 3, please try it again. I encourage you to try it again. And I think you'll find it's so much snappier than it is, uh, well, than it used to be, uh, particularly on a Mac. I don't really know what it's like on a PC because I don't use PCs, but on a Mac, it's great. So um, we're in live review. Um, you've got your, see how quick they're popping up now, you know. Um, now this particular library hadn't even been opened before. So these images are popping up really quick. Where in the, real, the previous version, they were slow, they were hopeless. So, uh, so there you go. So you click on, we'll, we'll go on the, the Nikon Z6. That's my latest camera and that's the latest one that I'm playing with. So, um, so basically you've got a grid, like so. And then you can double click to bring up the image that you want to edit. Did I double click that? No, I didn't, there we go. So you double click on the image you want to edit um, and you can uh, tag it. You can do the same as you do in Lightroom. You can put, um, you can either tag it with stars. So I could put a five on there, that would make it a five star rating. Um, and you've got um, so many other features that this will do. Uh, but we're, let's go into edit mode. Now I'm not terribly conversed with this bit of software, so I'm kind of winging it a bit because I've not uh, used it enough to, you know, be that conversant with it. But I think I've used it enough for you to get an idea as to how good it is. Uh, to zoom in on an image, one click on the mouse and that'll zoom in. And you can have a good pan around to see what, uh, how sharp it is. And you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go back and forth through the images. You can see here it's actually loading. So now how long did that take? Four, five seconds. And these are raw files. These are quite big raw files. These are full frame, 24 megapixel raw files. So, so pretty good, pretty good. And you can zoom in again. This little thing here is showing that it is actually loading the image. The Z6 with the kit lens is really nice. You can see there how nice that is. Um, and you've got your, all your controls here for exposure and all the rest of it. But let's find an image, actually, let's find an image with some sky. Let's go out of that. G for grid view. See if we can find an image there with some sky. <laughs> ah. Let's go on that one. It's a crap image. 
I mean, that is a really naff image, but I mean, you know, we're not trying to demonstrate the standard of my photography here. We're looking at what this software can do. Um, and this has got some uh, really unique features. For example, you've got this Accent AI filter. I use that a lot because it's a really quick, it's a bad image to do it on really, but an Accent AI, AI, AI filter, look at that, put that up, boom. There you go, brings up the, brings up the detail, brings up the shadows, um, and it's got an AI sky filter. Can you see what it's doing to the sky there? Washed out, brings all the detail back into the sky, an automatic filter. Um, history up here, so you can just go to the original. Look at that. What a difference on a crap photo. Very good, very good indeed. And there's another feature that is really nifty here, which is the compare fe feature. Uh, it's not that one, Where are, is that it? That's it. All right, here we go. So there's the original, there's the edit. So you can compare it straight away to see, you know, see what difference it's made. Very, very good. And I can go on and on and on. Um, you've got your metadata there. Um, as you can see on here, there's loads of other functions and loads of other controls. Um, and, uh, you know, now it also is great because I can, it, I think the license covers up to five computers. Um, I'd have to double check that, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's five. I know Adobe Lightroom is only two. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's five. Now I've got it set up on the laptop and we have a little laptop as well as my main computer here. So when I um, take this home, so I might be editing, or well, I would be editing all these photographs, you know, in the studio here, and then um, I want to take it home. So all my photographs are stored on an external hard drive, um, which is here. All I do is unplug that, put it in here, and the changes I've made on here will apply. And they're non-destructive though. So it hasn't destroyed the original image. I can still go back to the original image. So um, yeah, uh, if you're interested in me doing more kind of tutorials on this bit of software on anything really make some comments in the section below and um, i'll give that some thought i'm not particularly good at doing tutorials it's not my um ball game but i'm happy to i'm happy to do some if that's what people want you know um but yeah and look how nicely laid out it is and the color scheme it's really good yeah really really impressed with um what uh the developers have done with this bit of software um, it, it isn't perfect, but then I haven't come across any piece of hardware or software that is perfect. And there are a few niggling things. Um, one thing is the albums. If I create an album on here, say I create an album called, I don't know, Cats, because we like our cats. So there we go. I've got my album Cats. And then obviously I can go into, you know, uh, won't be any cats on that album. Uh, but I can go into, uh, oh, here we go, straight to little Sammy. And then I can put him into cats, like so. And there he is. But he hasn't moved from there. So that's great. You can actually then build up a whole album of cats or flowers or whatever it might be. It's obviously irrelevant, what it, whatever it is. Um, and that's great. And I can create another album called... Um, I don't know, garden, whatever. I mean, I can uh, find all my garden images, all my favourite garden images, and um, there's one, you know, drag that, put it into garden. Bingo. And uh, I don't know how Sam ended up in there. Oh, that's because that was the image that I was on when I created the album, so it's dropped that in it. Um, and... Uh, that is, uh, that, that feature is great. That's like Lightroom. But the only downside, Lightroom moves those albums across to any computer because they're stored on the external drive. With this particular software, they're not. They're stored on the actual computer that you're 
um, creating it on, which is a little bit of a downside. I've got a workaround to that because I just create another folder um, called cats and then drop them into there. But the only thing is it will move the image into that folder. It won't create a virtual copy of it. Um, so that's one niggling little thing, but nothing, I mean, nothing major at all. Um, and the other slightly niggling thing, let's go back to grid view. Let's go back to another album. Let's go look at my Tokina album. I don't know, I've got bought some really cheap lenses, cheap full frame lenses for the Nikon Z6. And you know, they're great. They're not the Z mount lenses, they're, they're old Nikon mount, you know, um, F mount, I don't know what they call them, but it's a great, great lens. And you know, that's not pin sharp, but it ain't bad. It ain't bad for a cheap lens. Uh, but anyway, I'm just loving the Nikon Z6. I think anyone can tell what I am. Look at that, it's brilliant, isn't it? Really nice images, really, really nice images. Um, but uh, yeah, so I digress. We have a niggling thing. So we go back to the grid view. Okay, so let's say now I've got all these pictures and there is a share thing up here to smug mug. Well, smug mug, flicker, um, mail messages, etc. Um, and I thought I could highlight because you can do. You can highlight one, two, ten, whatever images. Click on smug mug. As long as you've site logged in, it'll upload those. You create a new album, etc., etc. But some bizarre reason, um, the developers have only done it so you can only upload one image at a time, which is a right pain in the butt. Again, with Lightroom. You can set it up with Zenfolio. I think there was loads of them. Zenfolio, I'm not sure if Smug Mug was in there. Flickr certainly was, um, or is. Um, and I, I find that frustrating. So what I have to do is, that, like I had to do in Capture One. Capture One, uh, ON One, I've tried them all. <laughs> I literally have tried them all. Capture One's pretty good, but uh, I know ON One is pretty good. I've paid for all of them. Um, Oh, that's an interesting thing. I have actually paid for this software. I haven't been given it or whatever. I paid for it out of my own money. So, um, so there we go. But uh, yeah, a bit annoying that I can't upload a, a bulk set of images up to um, uh, Smug Mug. It has to be one image at a time. So I cre I've created another um, directory on the desktop. Or well, I would create another directory on, oh yeah, look, X70 images. Uh, drop the uh, images into there. Um, then use the Smug Mug Uploader, Smug Mug Uploader. Um, I've got an app somewhere on my hard drive. Uh, you can all see what's on my hard drive now, can't you? Hmm. <laughs> Not that I care. Um, yeah, somewhere. Oh yeah, look, I've got the Smug Smug Mug Uploader there. So drop them into there and upload them that way. It's annoying because I have to create yet another folder and it's taking up more hard drive space, but. Um, I do hope that, uh, you know, the developers do um, rectify that because that would be awesome. That really, for, for me anyway, um, that would be awesome. But yeah, so that's a kind of a very initial sort of quick overview of, oh, here, look, here we go, here's some skies here. Let's pick one, uh, let's go for that one. Looks like I might have already, oh, that's the other, it does do that occasionally. You click on it and it goes to a different image. That's, why is it? it must be me the way I move my mouse because that was the image next to it. Right, there we go. Right, so let's go into edit view. See, it's loading these really quick. You know, it never did that before. When I first got it, it was hopeless. So, so, uh, oh, it looks like, yeah, I have actually. So let's go to the history. Uh, original. Look at that. That's the original, how it came off the camera sensor. I um, don't know what kind of one of the Sonys this was. And then various bits and bobs. And you get to that. Look at that. Ah, this is interesting. Yeah, there is a Sunray filter on the, uh, uh, it's awesome. Great fun to play with. Can you see here? Oops, oh, damn you. Where do you go? There you are. Um, it's got a sunray filter. Can you see this little sunray here, hidden behind the clouds? 
that's created in this software. There's loads of filters. You can, there's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of filters, well, not hundreds and hundreds, but plenty of them for creating effects. And if you're really careful with it, um, I may well have overdone that. That might look not very natural, but if I played with that and got that um, right, um, it's got dehaze filters. Ah, oh, it's, it's got all sorts, right? So, uh, structure, where are we, Rignate? Sun rays. So I can move. You can see they're moving now, moving across the screen. Look at that, so I could put it there. That might be a better place, through that little hole in the cloud. You move it down, not where you'd want to move it down. But somehow, the algorithms move, um, creates it so it goes behind the clouds anyway, or behind the buildings. How have they done that? That's just phenomenal. Um, I haven't had to do that. It's just done that automatically. It's clever stuff. It is clever stuff. So there we go. That's um, a quick waffly view of view. Oh, it's me and my brother. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, my office. What am I looking for? Don't know. Um, oh, here's another cloud one. So let's go to. What can we do with that? That looks a pretty bleak sky, so I don't think we'd be able to do anything with that. Uh, I wouldn't have thought we could do anything at all. This AI sky enhancer, let's see. It has bulk detail back in it, but there's not a lot you can do with a sky that's got no detail in it anyway. Um, let's try that. Oh, there we go, look at that. Increase the shadows. Give it a bit of oomph with the, uh, let's try the AI filter just to give it a bit of oomph. I could go on and on with that, um, but I think you've got the idea now. So if you look at the original, look, absolutely, well, crap. I mean, the photo ain't much cop anyway, but you can almost turn a crap image into a pretty decent image. So there we go. Um, that's my thoughts on uh, Luminar 3. I use it, I love it. Um, and don't forget, apply the AVP code when you purchase it. The links will be down below. Uh, if you do decide to buy it, uh, put in AVP, you get $10 off. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in more of this kind of content, please let me know and I'll be happy to oblige. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for future videos uh, such as this and video and photo related content. Cheers for now. Bye.